You can't even buy a baby formula on Amazon. Check me. You can check me while I'm preaching. Try to buy some Infamil, see if you can. But there's truckloads of it down on the border. All right, we might as well just start preaching for a minute, all right? <laughs> there's truckloads of it down on the border. You see, here's what the left does. If they can't kill your baby in the womb, they'll starve them to death later on after they've been born. Now, I'm going to say something right now going to make about maybe 10 of you mad. But I don't care if it makes all of you mad. We'll start over next week. You know, the Bible talks about church discipline, right? About kicking folks out that cause trouble. I'm almost going to say I'm about to the place. I am to the place. I'm to the place right now. If you vote Democrat, I don't even want you around this church. You can get out. You can get out, you demon. You can get out, you baby butchering election thief. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. I don't care how mad that makes you. You get pissed off as you want to. You cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat in this nation. They are God-denying demons that butcher babies and hate this nation. They hate this nation. Get mad all you want to. I don't care if you stand. I don't care if you throw tomatoes, praise God. I'm about to throw a microphone up in his house. CNN can eat my dirty socks. You cannot be a Democrat and a Christian. You cannot. Somebody say amen. Yeah. The rest of you, get out. Get out. Get out in the name of Jesus. I ain't playing your stupid games. I'm going to the Supreme Court this Tuesday at noon, and I'm going to raise hell for the life of them babies. I'm going to raise Cain for them. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to raise Cain for him. Right in Joe Biden's backyard. That sleepy old fool's going to bust hell wide open. I'm sick of people saying, well, the Bible says you got to pray for the president. I pray for that fool to repent and get right with God's what I pray. Obama's behind all of it. Now, I ain't preached on politics in a while. Y'all might as well sit down. Y'all got me fired up. I ain't playing games with these idiots. I don't care how abrasive and country fied and redneck you think I am. I ain't got nobody in press in this building. My wife stood and clapped, so y'all in trouble. And she does like this, I'll stop. Till then I'll kick this pulpit over. Things gonna get worse. Can't even feed babies. Bunch of devils. I'm sick of it. Hey, we want to talk about the insurrection. Mm. Let me tell you something. You ain't seen the insurrection yet. You keep on pushing our buttons, you low down, sorry compromisers. You God hating communist America, you'll find out what an insurrection is because we ain't playing your garbage. We ain't playing your mess. My Bible says that the church of the living God is an institution that the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And the Bible says that we'll take it by force. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. It's going to get worse. But all that to say, when it does, don't you worry one bit. Because God's going to give you daily bread. God's going to feed us when them communists are starving to death. God's going to feed us every single day. We're going to stack it to the rafters. So when it all goes to hell, we're going to be a house of refuge. We'll turn this whole tent into a sleeping shelter if we have to. We're going to feed some people, some babies. We're going to clothe people. We'll house them. We're going to take This place is going to be like a campus that's a huge protective biblical bubble right over the top of it. They said, well, we don't like that tent. So we put up a great giant blue cross just so they could see it in the middle of the night. You got to like this tent. 
I don't like your compromise and I don't like your communism. I don't like your socialism. By the way, pray for all them people up in Buffalo yesterday. Ten people died at a grocery store. You know what the news media said immediately? Well, it was a racially supercharged MAGA supporter. Problem is they didn't show you the manifesto that he wrote. He was a socialist. He's a communist. Let me tell you something. Them bunch of stinking communists, they're the ones that want the guns in the grocery stores. They don't want you having them. Huh? Oh, I've done diverted a little bit now. I can tell. Huh? I'm sick of it. I ain't been on this bandwagon in a while, so I'm just getting it all out. One service, be done with it. 